Welcome, and thank you for watching this feature focus series brought to you by Keystroke. This session will focus on the Opportunities feature in ACT and will last about 20 minutes. Opportunities is a very powerful feature of ACT that is used for tracking sales and building a full sales pipeline. Creating opportunities and tracking their statuses allows you to follow a consistent sales process as well as giving you insight into current and future sales productivity and projecting future income. There are several ways to create and manage opportunities and different companies and industries use opportunities in many different ways. The great thing about ACT is that you can customize opportunities extensively so that it meets your specific sales needs. This feature focus session will cover some of the most common ways that companies create, manage, and track sales opportunities. First I'd like to show you the components of an opportunity and then we'll get into creating and managing. So right now we're looking at Eric Johnson's contact record in ACT. And you can see on the opportunity tab right here that he has several opportunities listed. Some of them are open and it looks like one of them is closed and marked as one. So just by looking at this tab I can tell what Eric has purchased from us. Also what opportunities are currently being worked by which reps. Creating an opportunity can happen a lot of different ways. Opportunities can be linked to contacts or companies or groups or can be standalone opportunities not linked to anything. One way to create an opportunity is simply click the opportunity button here in the left navigation pane and then click new opportunity at the top big button. This will create a brand new opportunity that then you can start entering the information and tracking the opportunity. So these are really the main components of an opportunity. The opportunity name, the estimated close date, which is a very important field to take note of. This is vital for most pipeline reports and for projecting future income. The sales process and stage that the opportunity is currently in, the status of the opportunity, and products and services that are being sold on this opportunity. So after you've created a brand new opportunity like this that is blank, the next step really is to fill in all of those important fields. So Eric Johnson wants to purchase a service contract. And again, keep in mind, all companies do this a little bit differently. Everyone has a little bit of a different sales process and a little different way of doing opportunity. So uh, you can name this whatever you want. Um, I'm now going to link this opportunity to a contact. And as you can see right now, it's not linked to anything. So to link an opportunity to a contact, simply click the contact tab here and click add remove contacts. I want to link this opportunity to Eric Johnson. So I'm going to do a search for Eric. There he is. I'm going to go ahead and highlight him and push him over to the right hand side and click OK. And then you'll see that Eric is now linked to this opportunity and this opportunity now will be shown on Eric Johnson's record as well. The next step would be to choose a close date. Again this varies for every company. Sometimes it takes a week to close a deal, sometimes it takes a year. So I'm going to go ahead and say at the end of this month, January, I'm going to have this closed. And then I'm going to choose the process and the sales stages. Now keep in mind this is all customizable. So all of this can be modified to tailor this to your own company. So every company has a little bit of a different sales process and a little bit of a different sales stages. Uh, so you do have the ability of changing all of this information to fit your specific sales process and stages. To do that, simply click on edit list values here. This box will pop open which then will allow you to name your own sales stages, as many of them as you like, change probabilities percentages that will update weighted totals and probability to close. Now probability to close is just a guideline and can be modified with each opportunity and within each stage to suit the circumstances. I'm going to go ahead and keep these sales stages as they are, but you can certainly delete all these and add your own 
sales stages to fit your company's specific needs. All right, so this opportunity is in the initial communication stage because we just opened it. We're just starting the talks with Eric. Now I'm going to add a product or a service. So I click the Add button. And now you can start populating this box with the product that Eric is interested in purchasing. And there are two ways to do this. You can simply type in the information that you want to sell, the item name, the quantity, your cost, the customer's price, any adjusted prices, any discounts, which then will update subtotals. And that cost field really is only required for margin reports. This is going to be quantity one. I'm not going to put in my cost. Uh, the price for this is going to be $300. Um, and as you can see, it's updated the subtotal. Changing quantities will update subtotals on the fly. So I'm going to change this to two, and this should change to 600. So that's one way to populate the product or the service that you're selling to Eric. Another way is actually importing. So a lot of companies maybe have a, a very large list of their products and their services. So if you have a spreadsheet um, with your product names, descriptions, costs, uh, all that information, uh, you can actually import that into the system by using this import button. Or you can manually type them in. These are all the products that I have uh, in this database. I can certainly add more if I like to, uh, add new products with their costs and prices as well. If you are doing that and you have your own products listed in here, when you drop this down, you'll get a list of the products you have listed there, and you can simply select from there to get the information or to get the product on the screen that you like. As you can see, it's repopulated with the correct cost uh, and subtotals and everything. So I'm going to go ahead and add that. Now you can see how the total and weighted total fields display new values, which contributes to projected income. All right, so now I've populated this entire opportunity. And basically, I'm now done with this opportunity. Now I can start working it. I can create follow-ups with Eric to talk to him in a week uh, and, and you know maybe move through these different stages of this opportunity. And that's good for reporting purposes. You know, once you start entering all this information in here, now these opportunities can all be tracked at the same time. You can get all sorts of reports on what type of opportunities you want to see, all the open ones uh, that are going to close this month, or maybe forecast into the future to see what opportunities you have closing in September of this year. Um, who's doing those, who's working on them, what stage they're in, how much they're for, when are the close dates, all that information is now trackable. So those are really the main things that you want to enter on an opportunity. Now, that's important to know that this screen is also customizable. So I could actually add other fields to this view to track other opportunity information. These two fields right here, days and stage and stage start date, will also allow you to track how long a opportunity has been in a specific stage. So you can use this field in conjunctions with lookups and sorts to identify opportunities of interest. The days and stage field is a new feature that was introduced with ACT version 20 and is useful for reporting and workflow. All right, now I want to show you how this is actually linked to Eric Johnson. You can see his name up here because I added him earlier. I'm going to go ahead and click on this contact tab and click on Eric Johnson's name here. This is a hyperlink that will take us to Eric Johnson's contact record. And now, as you can see, that new opportunity is listed right here and is now trackable. Another way to create opportunities, <clears throat> which I actually prefer to do, is go to the person's record first. So um, let me actually get to someone else's contact record in ACT. OK, so Eric Johnson calls me. I want to create an opportunity for Eric Johnson. So first, I'm going to go to Eric Johnson's record. Now I can go to the Opportunity tab and click the New Opportunity button here. Or I can right click on the top half on the contact and choose New Opportunity here. Doing it this way will automatically link this opportunity to Eric Johnson. 
So now I don't have to go to the Contact tab and click Add or Remove Contacts to add Eric. And then you can populate the opportunity like I showed you before. So let's now talk about tracking and managing and reporting on opportunities a little bit. So first thing you may want to do, and there's a lot of different ways to track your opportunities and get reports on opportunities. Um, this opportunity page, if you click here on opportunities in the left navigation pane, and then click list view on the top, you can get an entire list of all of the opportunities in the database based on a filter. These filters up here will allow you to sort and filter by what you want to see. So we can see right now I'm filtering to show me all of my open opportunities in the database for all dates, which is working off the estimated close date, that are only in the last two stages of my sales process and that are managed by all of my users. So that's the view we're getting right here. There are 12 opportunities that match this criteria showing a maximum possible income of $85,000. This could be considered a forecast. Now, remember again that a lot of companies do this a little bit differently, uh, so you know this process may be a little different for you. But uh, in my world, I know that any opportunities that are in the last two stages of the sales process, they're going to close. I can bank on that. So this could be considered a forecast. And let me get rid of my taskbar down here. You can see the totals down here in the bottom, weighted totals and grand totals. And maybe we just want to see the current month. So I'll change the date to the current month. It doesn't look like I've got any uh, about to close opportunities in that month. Let me just uh, add these stages in here. Uh, and that would be a view of the opportunities that I expect to be closing this month with estimated close date of this month. Now let's do something else. Let's look at all of the open opportunities in the database for all dates that are open. I don't care about the opportunities that are closed or won or lost. I just want to see the open opportunities, the ones we're working on. And by all of my users. I can select maybe just one user to see what Allison's opportunities are, uh, but in this case I want to see everything. So there's my full open opportunity pipeline, totaling 184 opportunities in this database, totaling $1.7 million. Some people call this a type of report uh, because of its ability to push out to Excel. I want to pare this down just a little bit so we don't have so much data to work with. So I'm going to go back to my forecast of $85,000. Now from here, you have the ability of pushing this directly out to Excel. I click that button. It's now going to write all of these opportunities to an Excel sheet, and it's also going to create a second sheet with a pivot table that you can manipulate inside of Excel and get very granular with your reporting. So for those of you that like to do your reporting in Excel, this would be a great tool to do that. So here's the first sheet that has those 12 opportunities that you see in the background here in ACT. And then here's a pivot table sheet that was also created. So from here, I can do other things. I can add contact names. I can add company names to this view. Um, days in stage, opportunity names. I can drag in statuses and values and filters and a lot of other things. Um, so, uh, again, those of you that like to do reporting in Excel, this would be a great tool to do that in. Now, there are there is a full report engine in ACT as well that you can get a lot of different reports on opportunities as well. Uh, so up on the top here under reports, there are about 60 canned reports built into ACT, many of them opportunity reports. So I've highlighted this area right here. Um, and you can see a lot of the reports that uh, most of the common used reports. Um, there are other reports as well. Plus, you have the ability of even creating your own opportunity reports. If some of these reports don't suffice for what you're trying to get out of the system, you can build your own report templates to show the data the way that you want to see it. So let me just run one of these real quickly, kind of show you what it looks like. Uh, let's do an ana a sales analysis by record manager. Record manager is the user in ACT, so I have a team of people, they're all record managers. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this report. 
and the first thing it's going to ask us to do is define some filters. So what do I want to see? Well, first of all, there's some outputs, a lot of different ways to output these reports uh, to an email or to a printer, text file, PDF. Um, I'm just going to preview it for this example. And again, I only want to see my open opportunities in this case. I'm going to choose all dates just so we get a good data set. Uh, you have a lot of different options here to choose what dates you want to view on and data by my user. So I'm going to click OK here and now this report will generate based on that filter. Alright, so the report has generated and finished. Uh, let me just zoom, a little, zoom in a little bit to show you what we're looking at. So here's my reps, Allison, Chris, Ernst, and these are the total number of sales, uh, total opportunities, uh, and all the other information. This is a dummy database I'm in, so sometimes the data is not that great. It's, it kind of gets stale sometimes. Um, that's just one of many opportunity reports that you can run with the report engine. Also, we have visual reports. So we have dashboards and we have Act Insight, which is a new feature of version 20. So let's start with dashboard. I'm just going to click in the left navigation pane to see the dashboard. Uh, there are many different dashboards you can use. You can create as many different dashboards as you like. This is kind of an at-a-glance view of sales opportunities and even histories and activities in the database as well. Uh, we're going to focus on opportunities, so I'm going to go ahead and pull up the opportunities dashboard. Um, you can create your own dashboard with the modules you want on the screen that really relates more to what you want to see at a glance. Uh, this is a good thing maybe to uh, for managers to start up Act in the Morning right into this page so they can see what happened yesterday. This dashboard view allows you to filter and change things on the fly. Here are my closed sales to date. I'm going to click filter right here and it'll bring up the filter to edit this dashboard to show me the information I want to see. So right now I'm showing the closed one opportunities on a custom date that I've chosen, which looks like 2012. I want to view all stages of the opportunities, and I just want to see these two people's opportunities that were closed one during this date range. So that's what we're seeing right here. There's Allison's and there's Ernst. Looks like Allison was the big winner um, that year. Also, Act Insight. This is another way to get visual reports on opportunities, key metrics, and a lot of other things in ACT. All right, so here's the Insight page in ACT. Um, very interactive, a lot of stuff to do. I'm just clicking this, this little orange arrow over here to get to uh, the area where I can then manipulate, add other charts, um, add other views, and a lot of other information. So right now I'm on the sales metrics view in ACT and that's what I use to, to track my sales and to view my opportunities. So that's what we're seeing right here. You do have the abilities of, of adding other charts to the screen and really manipulating it how you like. So I've got mine set uh, with these specific um, charts, which is the way I like to have it. So here are my open ops by rep. Uh, my, my opportunities uh, that are probability to close, forecasted sales by rep, forecasted sales by product, opportunities by stage, a lot of other information. So on this page, you can then, once you've created a chart like this, simply by clicking this button, you can then select one of these and manipulate it even further. So maybe I want to see the, the weighted value, and, and what I did there, I just clicked this module right here, you can kind of see the orange outline of it, meaning I've selected this one. And now I can change information, maybe make it a count instead of the way it looks. Uh, change to weighted value or total values. Um, add the products you want to see for this specific forecasted sales by product. Um, and even further, I can dive into these and drill down. So here's the Tech One system product. Looks like there are a million dollars in forecasted sales of this product. Now on these bars, I can actually click to drill down and look 
deeply at all of the different opportunities linked to whom right here. I can click this part to get back to my uh, chart. So really cool, a lot of different ways that you can track and view opportunities in ACT. So that brings us to the end of this feature focus video focusing on opportunities. I hope it's been insightful. I hope you've taken something away from this and uh, can start making a lot more money using opportunities in ACT. Thanks so much and have a great rest of your day.